months, I'm about to leave to go to the airport because my family is going to Disney World today, which I'm so excited about. And I just packed my little travel purse and I wanted to do like a little purse that I'm going to take to the parks with me, you know, and I wanted to do a what's in my bag travel edition for amusement parks and stuff like that this summer. Normally I tote around a bag with me that looks like this. Like this size is normally what all of my bags are. And I fill them up and they get so heavy and I just did not want to deal with that this trip because I did that at Knott's Berry Farm and it's not fun. So I got this little purse when I was out shopping with my mom the other day. This was from the Coach Outlet store and I got it for $60. We're having a really good sale. Plus the outlet prices are always cheaper anyway. And I thought it was a fun color because it's like orange, which is more fun than just doing like a brown or a cream. And I just wanted something a little bit more summery. And this one's nice because it has a really long strap so I can actually wear it crossbody like this and I can keep it really close to my hip and I won't have to worry about it falling off or someone stealing it or losing it or misplacing it or putting it down. It will just stay on my hip, you know, the whole time. This whole purse I figured would stay on me even when I'm on rides and stuff and would just you know, keep everything nice. So these are all of my essentials. What I feel like I need with me every single day in the amusement park. I feel like some of you guys could probably go to an amusement park and or anywhere and not even take a purse and be completely fine. Just have like cash in your pocket and just be completely satisfied. But I feel like every single thing in this is a complete necessity. So these are my essentials for when you're traveling or when you're at an amusement park or if you're going to the beach. I don't know. I feel like this could work for a lot of things. And it is fill to the brim just like is true with all of my purses. If I have the space, I will fill it. So the first thing are my sunglasses. I showed these in my last What's in My Bag. I've had them for a while. They're really dirty right now. They were a lot cleaner last time I showed them, but I like them because they have like a lace design that goes around the edge. It's kind of like a mesh lace. And then they have the CCs on the side. And I actually will end up wearing this the entire time I'm in the park unless I'm on a ride because I have really, really sensitive eyes. I had LASIK eye surgery last year, about a year ago, and so I have extreme light sensitivity. So I will probably end up wearing these the entire time I'm there unless I'm on a ride or inside. So this will mainly stay on my face or probably like on my head maybe a little bit. I'm just going to put this on because my hair is driving me crazy anyway. Okay, then I have one of these pure organic um, like little bar things, little, what are these called? It's a blueberry bar, but I learned about these in my Eco and Me box and they are really, really, really yummy. So I ordered a couple more and I have some in my suitcase, but I figure I'll carry one around with me each day just in my purse in case anyone gets hungry and we're in line and we can't get out really fast and you know. I have an SPF 30 for my face. This is by Borba and this is actually a daily SPF and an anti-aging cream in one. So it's kind of cool. It's like an age-defying SPF. It's good for underneath your makeup or alone. And you can get this at Ulta or Walgreens. There's like lots of different places you can get it. This is nice because it actually has like a really nice consistency. It's kind of like really moisturizing feeling and it smells really good. It smells kind of fruity. It doesn't smell like sunscreen at all, which I hate sunscreeny smells, especially for your face. I feel like I just, I hate that smell, but this smells actually really good and it feels really nice. It feels like really moisturizing and like it would just help your makeup stick a little bit better as well. This also has a nutrient booster and a youth revitalizer, just a couple nutrients to help um, with the anti-aging benefits as well. So this is nice and it smells nice and I'll be harassing my family to put on sunscreen on their face constantly. My mom's taking a body sunscreen but I don't have room in my purse so I'm just taking the face one in my purse. Then I have my wallet. I'm going to take out my ID. But I've had this thing for a while. This is the one from Glitzy Glam. It's like the little zebra one. I have all of my debit cards here, the three of them. And then I put my ID in that pocket. And then I have cash in this pocket. You have to fold your cash though in these because they're not long enough for your cash to lie flat. But that's fine. I've gotten used to it. And then in the back flap, I actually just have stamps. I don't know why I carry stamps around with me, but I feel like when you need them, you need them. And they're kind of hard to find when you need them. So I carry them around in the back flap. I'm probably not going to need stamps inside Disney World, but it's in here anyway. So I have like a bigger wallet that I tote around with me sometimes. It's like a big red one, but that I've had forever as well. But I didn't think that that was necessary for this tiny purse. I don't even think it would have fit in this tiny purse. So this little one works perfectly. Then I have a brush. This is from Glitzy Glam as well, and it has an E on the back of it. This is actually a really good quality little travel brush. And I'm not taking it to like brush my hair constantly in the Disney parks. I don't really think that that's necessary. Even for me, I don't think that I need to like constantly be brushing my hair. This is more for if my hair gets wet on a water ride, I have really curly, unruly hair. And if I don't untangle it right away when it gets wet, it will frizz up and become like a curly mess. So this is more for me just because I have unruly hair. And if it gets wet, I want to be able to like stick it up easily. So 
I have this and I also have a hair tie, which I feel like I will lose straight away, probably before I even get to one of the parks. I should probably put more of those in my purse. And then the last thing in the main compartment of my purse, other than that hair tie that's down there, is this kabuki brush. This is from Postal Sense, I believe, and it actually did not come with this little plastic case. I actually just put it in there to protect the inside of my purse. I don't want it to get all powdery. So I took another kabuki out that I didn't like as much and put this one in there. So in the front little flap, I have three things. This new Derma Blend setting powder that I got. I got this at Ulta the other day. It's like this. It's just a white translucent. And what you're supposed to do with this is you're actually supposed to put it on with the puff, which I don't really like makeup puffs, but I'll do it just for this week because I got this to have a setting powder while I'm there. This is a long wear, 16 hour smudge and sweat resistant powder. So this is like hardcore. This is not budget. And what you're supposed to do is put it on with the pad, kind of thick, and let it sit for two minutes and then buff it out with a kabuki brush, which is why I have the kabuki brush. So that's for that. Like if I ever feel like my makeup is sweating off or if I get really hot or shiny, I can go into the bathroom and just kind of do this for a couple minutes and then brush off the excess and I'm good to go for like 16 hours and then I have two lip balms these are the last two things I have in my bag I have one with SPF and one that just smells good this is a free one from Neutrogena with SPF 15 that I just got with my sunscreen it came for free but it has no scent like none like it does not smell good so I have this for SPF purposes and I have this one this is the Bumblebee Organics Coconut Lime one this was for my Eco Me box as well and this one doesn't have SPF but it smells really good. Really good. The last thing that I'm going to carry around with me, of course, is my phone. And I'm actually going to put it in a Ziploc baggie just in case my purse gets wet on a ride or something. I wouldn't want my phone to get wet. Nothing else really matters as much, but my phone, I don't want to get wet. So I'm going to keep it inside of a little Ziploc baggie. It's just not packed yet because I'm still like using it and kind of running around and doing last minute things. That's what I'm going to be carrying at the parks with me. I think I have all the essentials packed. So I'm going to get ready to go. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys later. Bye.